Hey, it's Keen Souls here. And today I'll be doing a video showing how I make my profiles on TSB and how I avoid to get filtered for the most part from Nike. Now the information I give in this video, you can also apply this towards you sneakers or any other sneakers bot you may use. This is just so you can create your profiles and jig your addresses and information to avoid getting filtered out. Now I'm on the uh, new profile screen here on TSB. And I'm just gonna show you an example of how I jig and create my profiles. So for profile name, that can be anything, you know, you could call this, you know, first jig, for example, phone number. What I like to do is I like to jig my phone number, but only the last few digits or so. So I would keep the area code, the same area code for your state. Um, so for example, let's say your area code was 353. You would keep that the same amongst all profiles, but where you would jig would be the last digits after that. So let's say five, four, four, seven, eight, nine, six. And then for the next profile, you can change that up, make it seven, eight, nine, four, or something like that. But you also wanna jig your phone number um, just so you can avoid getting filtered out. Card number, you would enter in your card number. I personally use privacy. So um, if you have privacy cards, you would just paste a privacy card here along with the expiration date and the CVV number. Um, for TSB, I do a three to one ratio. So I run um, three cards on the same profile or better yet, I use this three profiles on the same card. Let me rearrange the way I said that. I use um, three profiles on the same card basically. Um, of course, less is better. Best would be one to one, obviously. One profile to one card. Um, but I've seen people do five to one. I've personally done five to one and still cop. I've seen people do crazy stuff like 10 to one. But just to be on the safe side, you want to keep it as low as possible just to reduce the risk of getting filtered out. Shipping details. Now, this is uh, where you want to jig, basically. Um, so for shipping details, for name, you can do random. Um, it just depends on how strict your, uh, your postal carrier is. I've seen it sometimes where some people said they didn't get their package. I think that rarely happens, but let's say you don't get your package and they hold it at a fulfillment center. Uh, what you could do is you could just misspell your name. So let's say your name is John Doe. One profile, you can do, you know, John spelled like this and then Doe spelled like this where, well, you know, extra E and the extra N or you can put a letter in there. That way it's a little bit more easier to say, hey, I misspelled my name. You know, this is my package, so forth. I personally do random names just because my postal carrier usually just still delivers my package. I never had an issue. Address. Now, this is the important part that you want to jig. So for the sake of, you know, just testing the sake of example, um, let's say you live on 123 Main Street. That is your actual address. No jigging or anything. Just like that. That's your actual address. Um, and let's say... Let's say this is just a house. I'll do another example of maybe an apartment, but let's say it's 123 Main Street and there's no address to. What I do, and before when I had TSB last year, I would usually just do three random characters like this in front and then maybe three random characters at the back like that. And I actually got away with that last year and I was able to cop plenty of shoes, but I feel like Nike got a little bit more strict now, I know this still works for some people, but for me, it doesn't really work. I still get filtered out if I jig like this. So what I do is instead of having it in front of the address, I have it after the street number. So I would put T-Y, I'm not sure what I did, T-Y-G, and I would have that after the street number. So one, two, three being my street number, I'll put the three random characters after the street number and then Main Street. Now, if you wanna take it a step further, that way, you know, you don't have any lightness amongst uh, most of your addresses. You can go ahead and put street at the end like that. And that way, you know, there's no similarities. So, for example, let's say if you had the previous jigging way, which is just the three characters in front and then one, two, three Main Street. Now, I feel like it's easier for a computer program or for Nike to see one, two, three Main Street just because those string of characters are close together on every profile. So pretty sure they could probably match that up with a zip code, put one and two together, and think it's the same address and filter you out. Now, when you do one, two, three, and then you put TYG, they might think the string of characters after one, two, three is another address or part of an address. And then you put main and then DRT, like a random three characters, 
they think that's another address in the street at the end. So I feel like you have a less likelihood of getting filtered out if you do it that way. It's worked for me and it has been working for the last few months. Now, let's say you lived in an apartment. Let's say your apartment number was apartment 200. Um, for line address two, from my experience, they don't really look at that as much. You can still just do the three characters in front. So like this, and then three characters at the end. And also one way to jig, if you don't live in an apartment and you just live in a house, you can also add room one, room two, for line two, and that'll also be considered, you know, jigging. Um, and most likely your postal carrier will catch that and know that's not an apartment and just go off of your address line one and still deliver the package. Um, country, still leave the same. Do not jig your city. Do not jig your zip code. Um, you jig any of those, then there's a high likelihood you won't get your package. Billing details, um, I would just keep that same as shipping if you're using privacy. Because with privacy, it's a virtual credit card. And it doesn't matter what you have in your billing details, it'll still check out. Um, so I would just check that box for the same as shipping. Now, if you're using um, other virtual credit card providers, depending on who it is, um, you just have to refer to that. If they're strict, then maybe you can't really change the billing details and you have to keep it, you know, what it should be. Uh, but if you're using privacy, which I use, you can just put it whatever. I just click same as shipping and then just go ahead and create my profile. Now, this is the manual way of creating profiles. I had to use AYCD to create mines, but unfortunately AYCD doesn't have an option to move your street number around and then put the three characters between it. You either have to put the three characters in front or back. So I had to get crafty and I had to basically um, make my street name and then um, line two just blank and then not put my street number, jig the three characters in front and then go one by one in each profile and put uh, the three or your street number in front of it. So it's a little tedious, but you can either do it this way. You can do it on Excel. You can do it on a notepad and just copy and paste it. Now it does take time, but if you do want to cop and not get filtered out, you want to take that time and invest it into creating profiles that are set up and jig properly. Now that's pretty much it for um, how I do my profiles and how I jig it. It's pretty much straightforward. Once you have it down packed, um, you can scale this, you know, by hundreds, over a thousand different profiles. I know it may seem like, oh, how many combinations can you come up with? You'll be surprised how many three letter combinations you can come up with. It's almost endless. Um, same thing with your name. You can put doctor in front. You can put Mr. Then misspell it. There's a bunch of different combinations. You just have to get a little creative. Um, but that's pretty much it. If there's anything I missed or anything you don't understand and what I said, leave it down in the comments. I respond to everyone. Also, my contact information is in the description and look out for more videos.